the sun is out and it was almost 60 degrees today. I felt a glimmer of spring come back into the air. I just got done filming a Tea with Lee sit down chat for our members block and for Patreon. And this week I am cat sitting my parents' cat. So I'm heading out right now. It is golden hour here in the mountains. And I'm gonna go head out and check on the kitty. I'm gonna take you along with me. Now that spring's feeling more real, the flower mood is coming upon me. So we'll see if we see anything along the way. Good morning. It is a sunny morning. It is sunny and it is beautiful. And it is actually going to be warm today. The trees are flowering, which is lovely. And I am about to do a quick strength workout before I have to get outside and do some stuff out there. Just remember, as I always say, 10 minutes is better than no minutes. So if you're struggling in an area of something, whatever you're going through, 10 minutes of prayer five minutes, it's moving your body, strengthening your body, eating a good food, something that's nourishing for you. A little bit is better than nothing. So keep that in mind today as you're going throughout your day while you're having grace with yourself in, in a potential season of struggle in some area, just keep telling yourself a little bit is better than nothing. 10 minutes is better than no minutes. So I don't have a ton of time today. So I'm gonna do some circuits where I do my lower and upper body at the same time, do a couple core exercises, use my neck stretcher, which I absolutely love, which I shared with you guys, I think back in the fall from Zamet. That thing is, is amazing. It helps restore the curve in your neck and it really helps with headaches. So that's what I'm doing. And then I have to go outside and repair some of the fencing around some of the garden areas where I'm gonna be planting clover and some other plants. My parents are getting back from their trip in a couple days. I've been house and cat sitting for them and I wanna make sure it's nice when they get back and that they have a meal because they're getting back in the evening. I wanna make sure there's a nice meal in the crock pot for dinner for them and get some groceries for their fridge and just make sure it's a nice homecoming. So. I'm gonna start organizing that today, cook a couple things for them tomorrow for their dinner. There he is. What are you doing today, buddy? No, you're distracting me, Zion. I gotta exercise. Chickens are on a roll. I got my exercise done. I'm going to eat now. I'm gonna have a typical breakfast for me, which is eggs with feta or some other type of cheese, but today I'm gonna to have feta, kiwis and blueberries. I have some sort of a fruit. I'm gonna have turkey bacon for some extra protein. I already had my grass-fed colostrum this morning in water, and then I'm going to have a little glass of water with some Celtic sea salt in it, some nettle tincture for allergies, and I'm gonna take a few of the histamine immune capsules from Heart and Soil. 
This is just freeze dried beef organs. And this one is specifically to target histamine and immune health. And I'm going to cook all of that in a healthy heaping amount of butter. And then a lot of times after my meals, I will have a little treat of two dates and I'll split them in half, take out the pit and I'll put a slab of butter in there after my meal. So I'm going to get started on that now. Look what God is out here doing. Isn't that so pretty? This is the Well Summer Ginger, and this is Zippy the Americana. <laughs> zip Zip! Hi Zip Zip! Thank you so much for the eggs. I crushed up the shells for you. loving these gardening gloves that I got this year. Just having that protection over my forearms and the extra cushioning and in the fingers, these have worked out really well. Making a little progress on the stone steps and the big mess out here. So that's good. James and I are gonna have lunch together. So I'm gonna make a beef burger patties with a tzatziki sauce, which is basically just a whole Greek yogurt mixed with cucumbers and dill and seasonings and lemon juice. And then I'm gonna do an avocado salad and I might roast some sweet potatoes, but I'm not sure yet. So I gotta pack these in for a minute, go start that and then come back out here and get some more work done. I have to run over to my parents' house and I have to stop at the landscaping store and get some stones. The path laid with good intentions, but we'll, we'll see how much we get done. I'm picking my parents up from the airport today, so I have some chicken soup going in the background and I wanna make them some baked apples. I figured chicken soup, baked apples, bone broth, those are comforting foods when you've been traveling all day. And today is just a busy day for work and personally, and it got me thinking about what I was talking about the other day with 10 minutes is better than no minutes in terms of exercising or moving your body and I have to remind myself because I think it applies to so many areas of, in life I don't know about anyone else but I'm one of those type of people where when I get overwhelmed or there's just so many things to do or I, there's something I want to accomplish or get better at if as soon as my brain gets too overwhelmed, it starts shutting down and it's almost like I get mentally paralyzed and then I don't accomplish anything. So the whole 10 minutes is better than no minutes started with myself trying to get 
into better habits and to be more intentional in a bunch of different areas in my life. Let's say we want to start eating better or we want to start exercising, we want to get more fresh air, we want to be diligent in praying or doing our biblical affirmations or whatever it is, journaling, whatever, whatever the situation is. And I think we get stuck because for some reason in our mind, we feel like if we can't just do it all or we can't do it right, there's no point in doing it at all. And I really would like to argue against that because implementing little changes has really been something that has, it's changed my life and it shifts your day. Similar to setting the timer on the stove and doing 10 minute clean. I've had nights where I'm so tired that I know I'm not gonna be able to reset the whole kitchen, but I set the timer for 10 minutes and 10 minutes makes the kitchen look so much better than no minutes. So if you're having a really busy day, instead of just throwing your hands up in the air and saying, oh, I can't do any of these things that are healing or healthy today, I would argue that five minutes or 10 minutes to stop and be thankful, to pray, to put that extra healthy, nourishing thing on your plate or take that one empty calorie thing off to move your body for five minutes to get some sunshine, to take that time to pray, even if you're in the car, just being able to implement those little things will begin to change your day and they add up. So 10 minutes one day or five minutes one day might be a little bit longer the next day and the next day, but at least we're inching in the right direction. So we need to be able to get ourselves out of that mindset of if I can't do it all, I'm not gonna do anything and just say, listen, I'm gonna do five minutes and I'm gonna be happy with that. And then maybe tomorrow I can do some more and do some more. And that's how we slowly build lasting habits, one stone upon another. So after this video, do the thing, do the thing.